So here I am, um, I'm on my holidays down in Cornwall and I'm doing some pinhole photography. And the principal camera I'm using is this zero image, large format, wooden pinhole camera. Now, zero image make a number of cameras, uh, formats from 35 millimeter through 120, 66, 67, 69, I believe, right up to large format to five by four inches. And the 5.4 camera is interesting insofar as it comes in sections. So I'm going to pull this one apart to show you that. So I've got my particular version has three sections. The first section is the one that has the pinhole arrangement within it. And then each of the following sections effectively extends the focal length of the camera. So the more sections you add, the longer the focal length. And this particular configuration, once I add my two extensions, plus my original camera piece gives me 75 millimeters of focal length. Now that's still pretty wide with a 5.4 with a format film. That's still pretty wide angle. In fact, it equates to something like using a 24 millimeter lens on a full frame 35 millimeter sized uh, camera. If I pull off one of these sections and reduce this down to 50 millimeter, then I'm into extreme wide angle territory and if I only use this section here, I get a really, really wide, almost 180 degree angle of view. And I also get some extreme vignetting into the corners. The corners dark and right off. I effectively get a circular image. Quite dramatic, but I don't actually do that very often as I find that it, it, I don't really find that particularly useful. So generally speaking, I either use two sections or more often than not, three. Now the sections themselves are held together with elastic bands wrapped around these brass posts and that holds the camera together. And then we've got tripod bushes here and we've got tripod bushes here to enable us to fix it to the camera. What I've found is because of the, the way the elastic bands work, these bushes here are not particularly useful. So what I tend to do is use the threads on the bottom of the, of the camera here and then tilt the camera over on the tripod in order to take a landscape format image. Otherwise, the, these elastic bands just get in the way. And when we're ready to shoot, the 5.4 film, the dark slide, the, the film holder, is held on the back once again by using elastic bands. So we wrap these around the posts, like so. And that will then mean the camera is ready to shoot. Okay, now given that you have a number of different focal lengths to work to, I've struggled to get this off now, given that we have a number of different focal lengths to work to, and that we have the issue of the size of the pinhole, because as the pinhole size is relative to the focal length, the optimum pinhole size, what Zero Image provides you with in this camera is a turret of different size pinholes. And so we can select the pinhole that's most appropriate for the amount of extension that we have. And that all comes in the instructions with the camera um, explaining which pinhole to use with, with which particular extension, what uh, diameter the pinhole is. And from that, you can work out what the effective aperture is. So typically I'm using the larger pinhole with three pieces and that gives me an aperture of around about F240 and that enables me to make an, an accurate exposure calculation. The posher versions of this camera include a cable release rather than a simple manual shutter opening and closing. I didn't find that particularly uh, uh, important or useful. And also things like a spirit level attached to the camera to, give you, to help you um, line things up. Again, I don't find that particularly important because I've got spirit levels built into my tripod, so it's not really necessary. So there we have it, that's my Zero Image 45 large format pinhole camera. I've had this for about three years now and I find it produces really, really good quality results. It's also a very, very well constructed camera and although they are quite expensive, I think they represent pretty good value for money when you look at the quality and the finish on the camera. So I'm gonna go off and try and take some pictures with this uh, while I'm on my holidays and um, let you see the results.